that's an example of an A minor. I'm just all over that A minor today. That's a, more of an intermediate technique. But today, you're going to learn the A minor chord, and it's going to be beautiful. For the best product reviews and master instruction, join Space Age Gym. Okay, as we know, the A minor is a five string chord, as you can tell from the diagram. So we're going to hit strings five through one. Now, you'll notice our first finger is on the second string, our third finger is on the fourth string, and our third finger is on the third string. So we're only gonna hit five strings. That's what it's gonna sound like. So now we've memorized that chord. Let's practice going off and on. Don't worry about speed at this point. Okay, we've learned, we also know that this is an A, an E, another A, a C, and an E. So the chords of A minor are A, C, and E. That's a nice clear tone right there. Now, if you're having a problem, it's probably going to be something like this. So we're isolating the problem as we're analyzing. We're hearing a, a buzz. So what is that buzz? That means we're probably means we're not pushing down hard enough. To make sure you've got your bear claw shape, where your fingers are almost pointed straight down and you're in the, as close to the middle of the fret as you can be. So, clear, clear, uh-oh, not clear. What's wrong there? Ah, okay, on my third string I wasn't pushing hard enough, so now let's go and try it again. Uh-oh, we got a muted string. Our first string is muted. Oh, I see, my first finger is touching that. So, now we've identified the problem and we can fix the problem. We have fixed and identified the problem. Step three is to practice. Okay, to practice uh, on this A minor chord, we're gonna strum five strings. And three, and four, and. And we're gonna switch between chords using a metronome, of course, because Space A's Jim loves those metronomes. So we're gonna go from A minor to E. metronome I went from A minor to E I went up and did a D minor too while I was at it all the chords that you know just switch between them uh, and and just that'll help your muscle memory it'll using the metronome will help your timing and, and your counting and <laughs> the thing doesn't want to shut off I've got a lot of, have to get it quieted down a little bit so we've got switching chords whatever chord you have and back to, back and forth and just go and play it over and over again with a metronome one and count it one and two and three because we're working on your overall musicianship likewise you can arpeggiate the chord one and a two and a three and a four and a two and three and four and and four and Play different patterns like that with a pick. If you're if you're on my finger style course, you can use your fingers just to pick it. You know. Simple pattern or whatever course track you're on, practice with that. So you're really working on three or four things at the same time. Now I'm fixing to show uh 
to give you a more detailed view of how to learn chords. If you watch to the end of the video, it's just a, it's in C, but it's going to show you how to get through and learn any chord. Remember to subscribe to Space Age Gym. I'd love to have you along for the ride. We're having a ball here. Join us. Step one, learn the chord shape. Here is our diagram of the chord. Right here, in this case, it's a C chord. You'll notice our first finger is on the second string this way. Our second finger is right here, and our third finger is on the fifth string. Now, what you'll need to do is look at the chord shape or on the diagram and make your hand fit that same shape. So here's the C shape. Now, if you'll notice my knuckles are bent at every joint here and my, my uh, knuckles are above the fretboard, that's the ideal. And you also wanna try to be halfway between the frets. So fret one, I'm kinda halfway. Uh, fret two, I'm a little bit forward halfway. And three, I'm trying to get near the middle. Don't worry about it, get it as, that's your sweet spot. You can't always do that, but give it a try. So you're gonna to commit to learning that chord. Be great to know that the notes are also C, E, and G. That's the only thing there is in the C chord. So we're gonna strum it as a five string chord. Hit only five strings, that's very important. Be very careful about hitting only five strings when you're strumming. Strum it slow enough to where you can do it perfectly every time. And next thing we're gonna do is analyze. Step number two, analyze. We've got our C shape. We're going to have our bear claw. We're bent at every knuckle. Our fingers are going almost straight down and our knuckles are ahead in front of the fretboard. Don't worry about your thumb position right now. So we're gonna hit each isolated string to make sure there's no problems. Ah, that's nice and clear. I don't have any other work to do on that. But if I hear, then I know I've got a buzz. I need to push very harder. If I hear a muted string, I know that I'm touching it with my first finger in this case. So I need to get more of a bear claw and get my hand even going straight down even more. And strum slowly and deliberately five strings. As slow as you need to go to get a clean tone and then going up catch two or three and that's there you have it step number three practice i recommend always using a metronome and playing at a slow enough tempo to where you can play it about perfect in this case we're playing a c it's a five string chord and we're gonna switch chords just randomly to different chords and come back to C so we can work on our muscle memory. And two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and. So we're going back and forth between chords and that's gonna help our muscle memory a great deal. Also, arpeggiate, uh, and that means hit individual strings. One and two and three and four and. Practice doing that too. It'll be well, great for your right hand and your left hand. So we're working on three things, right, left, and we're also working on our timing and rhythm and phrasing. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you on the next chord.